Welcome to another edition of this recap, folks, and this one is about lines. We traded Tesla, and people ask, what do you mean with lines? And I'll show you a few, one, a few good lines that we have. Look, this is the daily chart. The daily chart, obviously, this is a bottom, a line that will probably match this. We have other lines. This this is a top where sellers start overtaking the buyers. So basically this one, if you carry on this line, it will meet at another point where you know it, it will become support. This one also and and so on. You know, this these are lines in your chart that you can draw as we go. It doesn't have to be the daily. This I'm showing you the daily here. It doesn't have to be the daily. Sometimes the higher the previous day, the lower the previous day will become lines because you know that people, the, the sellers will overtake the buyers and eventually it's going to drop. And the opposite is also true. When the buyers overtake the sellers, it's going to turn around. And, um, Eventually, you'll get something that looks like this. Um, here, I'll show you the lines. You know, you get a million lines in your chart. And this is not what I want to show you. This this is more what I want to show you here. I have a line, and I'll show you a little later. I have a line in the 609.80-ish. And for the purpose, I'm very close now to 610. Why is this, and I'll show you, in December, line appeared to be there. Why? Because we got to a top right here. Eventually, that line became support right there, right? So here it got rejected. It became a line saying, hmm, here and there is resistance. We got through. Then it became support, moved on. So you know this line eventually along the way will see this same kind of interaction between buyers and sellers. And let me take this a little further. Let's move this. Oh, we're close. See here, we're getting very close to the line. And now it's a little tight. We are consolidating very tight, tightly around this range of 610, either for a drop or a rise, but I'll put you on the five minute chart. And this is what happened. Oh, see this line? This is exactly what happened today. That line is in my chart and I'm not lying. Look at this drawing the line is right here i'll put the yellow line off here it is 609.80 ish i always say it it's in my chart what happened when we saw the open market was dropping and we reached the line directly this is where we alerted precisely there because we knew it was going to bounce So we decided to alert here, the 630. See, what I like is to alert a strike that is within my um, target range. So you see that this top was very close to the 630 range. In retrospect, you see that, you know, 630 was pretty accurate, but the idea was to get back to this old resistance. And this is where we took first out. First out, 630C was paid 630 per contract. And we exited here, first exit was out 79% or 1130. And we managed to get a 100%. So I only, I, I took half out of what was left at 100% 12, 1263. I took another half out. 
So at, I think we were very close to that, that line. So basically now it's free trade. We took out most of our money. What we have left is just runners that can only uh, make us have a better trade yet. So all I'm saying in this is when you put lines in your chart, you know that this, let me take, make, let me get rid of all this here. You know that when we get to the line, something is going to happen either way up or could do this and then we're going to go like this or it could bounce on it and what we expect is this thing to bounce like it did and see here we were very very close to it we could have stopped on this line which is you know very close to the line there but we remember last week tesla was also strong when spy wasn't so expect the same thing now spy was strong today we had a little pullback at the gate and then to the line and it took off for a nice monday 100 percent plus play so i hope you guys managed to play it but this is a fine example of using lines like this along the way so you know now that you know this top is resistance could be used as a line this one here 6339 something's going to happen if it's tomorrow it's going to go like this or eventually if it comes down to a higher spot it may stop at this line so use this and eventually you notice at the beginning of the video how i showed you that this one was an old line that is still acting as a support and resistance point so use it make the most of it and i hope you guys are learning from this see you folks nice to have you with us